Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, kids of all ages, welcome back to another episode of Foolcraft. That's right, folks, we are on our Patreon server doing all the cool fool modded things. Uh, I had a couple of deaths. <laughs> um, that's the base. Right there, there's a death right there. There's a death right over there. Apparently, I had uh, allowed too much um, Thumbcraft taint to build up, and, <clears throat> and uh, I had a taint monster. Uh, a taint seed right here on this staircase, and he was brutal. Um, the guys came over, a lot of the guys, three of them, I think. Uh, let's see, who all was here? There was a bunch of people here. I know that, uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, Zendian was here. It was either Zendian or Sonic. Um, and then I also had um, uh, 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 Silver was here, and I think, <clears throat> um, who else on? Uh, I'm pretty sure both of them were here. Anyway, I don't remember who all was here, and if I forgot who you were, who you who all was here, I apologize. But uh, thank you so much, guys, for uh, for coming and helping me to take care of that. Because if that gets out of control, my base would have been lost, right? My base would have been completely lost. We would have never been able to come back here again, and uh, and it would have been a bad thing. But he, they all came over. We got the thing destroyed. We got all the all the tank cleaned up. And everything seems to be fine now. Um, let's uh, let's take a nap. I'll show you what I did in between episodes, and then um, and then I'm gonna do some stuff off camera because I have got a huge huge headache. Um, I've been battling this thing all morning, and uh, I mean I'm, I'm doing okay. I'm doing a little bit better now than I was, but it's still not it's still not where it wants where it's still where I want it to be. So. Uh, yeah, but anyway, I did some hi creeper. Uh, I did some stuff off camera. Do I have a bow? I do have a bow uh, on me. Um, did some stuff off camera with the uh, farming stations, right? Hey, you! I said die. Yeah, okay. So I made the uh, I made the the pods, the farming pods, a little bit bigger. Hi, you! You can't be there either. Oh yeah, you're dead. Um, but I made the pods a little bit better, bigger. Instead of three by three, now they're five by five, um, and uh, all of them have their own uh, photovoltaic cells, and they seem to be doing fairly well. Uh, this one doesn't have any power. It also doesn't have a hoe. Let's give you a hoe. There you go. Um, this one doesn't have a hoe either, which is fine because I got to make some more. I need a recommendation on what tool to put in here that might actually. Um, might actually last a long time because they don't seem to want to last a long time. Um, what do I have in here? Yeah, do I have anything I don't need? Because I, I kind of need the gunpowder. Uh, blocks of iron. Don't want to get rid of those. Don't want to get rid of that. Don't want to get rid of that. I can put you as long as I don't. Uh, as long as I don't clear. <laughs> as long as I don't clear things out. Then as long as I don't try to to like right click. You know because. Oh, cool! I got the bow, so it won't matter. Uh, but anyway, so that's what I've been—that's what I did off camera. Uh, things are going well now, and uh, if I can get this headache to stop, then de then my life will be pretty stinking good. Uh, I did this over here too. I started bringing some of my Thongcraft stuff upstairs, and I put this here. And I'm thinking we might—I don't know that I want to leave it here though, because it was after this that the that the taint that the taint monster came around. Um, we're looking good on on taint right now. That's the the deep purple that's up there in the in the upper left hand corner. That's the deep purple that you see up there. So, um, oh hey, we can, can can learn something from that. Cool. Um, but anyway, that's that's kind of just that's where we're at. So I don't know if I want to leave it in here or not. If I want to put it outside, like say over here ish, so that it's got more of a place to 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 leave. I don't know. I don't even know if that's a thing. I don't know if it's what we want to do. But today, today, what are we gonna do? Today we're gonna do some storage because storage is uh, horrendous in this place. <laughs> um, we've got our ore processing stuff, or well, our ore generating stuff over here, the lens of the miner, and uh, that's all getting fed into here. This is now full, well, mostly full. I took some iron out of there. Um, and so I want to get this set up so that it is on its own, right? Uh, I don't want it to be powered off of the same power system as everything else because that's that's going to cause a problem. This thing needs power of its own and it doesn't need to rely on anything else. And I think I can set that up in pretty much a reliable way. I'll probably leave that over here. But all of the rest of the storage I want to put over here, right? That's kind of what this basement area is for. And so 
why why not uh, i want to use to start off with i want to use more of these so i'll probably relocate these uh these spruce drawers over here since everything is kind of spruce anyway we'll use spruce drawers and i think i can do it so that this uh this is how big is this house is this this is built on odds right should be so that should be the middle so i should be able to to set this up in such a way that um that we've got, uh, you know, like a, a symmetrical kind of a layout, kind of a setup, and that that should be cool. Um, but one thing I want to look at before I do that is I want to look at compacting drawers. Compacting drawer. That would be this one, right? So that is a basic drawer with an iron and a couple of pistons and some stone. Um, the only problem that I have with the compacting drawer is the color, uh, because I wanted it to. I want this to kind of be. I want this to kind of be a setup that, that kind of matches the rest of the decor of the house. Um, and, and what I'm going to use these for, so like I'm going to use the compacting drawers for all of these, uh, all of these, these orbs. I'm going to use it for iron and, and lead and all that because it will, it will give me nuggets, it will give me ingots, and it will give me blocks depending on what I need. And so that's kind of where I'm at. So let's make, how many different, okay, how many different ones do we have? So we've got one, two, three, four. Five, six, six different ones? Seven different ones, because we've also got iron, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, seven. Oh, and eight, and nine. So nine different, nine different compacting drawers. That might work out, because if I can do a three by three right here in the middle, yeah. Okay, so let's make a couple of compacting drawers. Uh, let's get ourselves... We don't need to worry about using um, spruce for these because these are just going to get converted into something else. So, uh, you know what? We've got way too much stuff in our inventory. <laughs> Um, like way too much stuff, but I want to make a couple. I want to make the compacting drawers first. The, you guys have seen me make regular drawers on camera before, so that's not a big deal. Um, oh, I know what else I can do. Take you off, put you in here. The other thing I want to make today is I want to make the I want to make the viz pouch or not the viz pouch, but the uh, focus pouch um, because I found all of my leather. It's right here, um, but I want to make the focus pouch um, so that we can store our store some of our stuff. Some, some of our focuses for our uh, for our thorncraft stuff, you know. Um, so yeah, that's going to be kind of a thing too. So let's get rid of all of that. We got some gravel here. We can get rid of. We've got do 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 do. Got some bob drops here. We can get rid of, and we've also got some of this stuff here. So that goes in there. That goes in there. Sort it out. Yes, and we can put you in there. Right. Cool. Um, got some got some of this too that and get rid of that i think we're i think we're in good shape now oh hey uh we got a tainted rock because of that rock because of that taint monster oh and a oh another loyalty badge how about that cool so we can take this one for 150 off and put this one on for 200 um i've got the i've got the diamond one which i think was for 100 hours i had the other ones too but i had a creeper explosion and they all got destroyed so bummer but anyway, let's see if we can build some some compacting drawers. So let's turn all of you into planks. Uh, let's turn you into chests. Because um, we need to make drawers. And it looks like... Uh, no. Just to make a regular drawer, just a one drawer, that's one of those. So if I did that, that would give me eight of those. So I just need one more drawer, or one more of those, right? Put you guys there. We'll put you like that. And we'll put you like that. And they give us those. Excellent. Mui excellente. So that gives us those. Now we need some pistons. So let's get... Uh, it's two pistons per, right? And we're going to do nine. So I need 18 pistons plus an extra iron. So uh, 18 pistons. Just take a whole... Let's just take that and it... Yeah, get a stack of that, and we're gonna need some. We got wood. We're gonna need cobblestone. Go. So let's do pistons. Cool. Uh, eighteen pistons, right? That's sixteen of them. So let's do that. Um, I need two more. 
that should be enough to make two more pistons, right? Yeah, that's enough to make two more pistons. Cool. And then we just need some more iron, which we have, and we're going to need some stone. Do I have any stone? I do not. So I'm going to have to cook up some stone. Uh, I can do that pretty quick right here, but it is going to take a little bit of time. So let me do that, and I'll come back to you, and I'll show you. I'll, I'll start laying out some of the regular, uh, regular storage drawers, and then also we'll get the compacting drawers finished up, and we'll go from there. So I'll see you momentarily. All right, I think we're ready to make these compacting drawers. Uh, do I have everything I need? I need. I have everything I need to make nine of them. Why do I only have nine of them? What am I missing? Oh, I'm missing some, yeah. I was gonna do nine, but it looks like, it turns out I need to actually do 12, and here's why. Um, <laughs> I built this on an even. Whoops, rip. Uh, so we'll have to make some more of these, but we'll go ahead and put these in like this. We'll go ahead and make a couple more pistons. Uh, but the beautiful thing about this now, if I, so if I put this together correctly, are these, so we go like that. And let's go ahead and turn you guys back into those. And we'll put you in there like that. And we go like this. This is all, oh, you know what? We got pulsating iron too. And we've got energetic alloy also. Oh boy. Um, but if we do all of the gold, right? If we just take a gold over here and put it in there. So gold is the first one on the list. So we'll just, boop. yeah, how about that? Yeah. So now we got gold blocks, we got gold ingots, and we got gold nuggets. How about that? The other thing that we're going to need to have, um, so like I said, we need three more of the uh, of the compacting drawers. So the other thing we're going to need to have is going to be a, uh, a drawer controller, right? So control, a drawer, a controller. Uh, where are you? There you are. Yes, there you are. So that's just uh, some stone. That's another drawer. That's a couple of comparators and a diamond. And I should be able to get that. Um, I have an issue, though, and that is I'm running out of diamonds. Um, my void or my lens of the miner does not seem to be getting me diamonds. And if I look, if you look in uh, in NEI or JEI, diamond ore, right? Diamond ore blocks, you can get it from a laser using a light blue laser lens. You can get it from World Gen, obviously. You can get it from the Void Ore Miners, right? But that's, that's it. It doesn't show that you can get those from Lens of the Miner. So if you guys are watching, any of my patrons who are playing on this server or anybody else, if you've noticed if you are or are not getting diamonds from your uh, Void Ore Miner, or not your Void Ore Miner, but your Lens of the Miner, I would like to know because I, I seem to be running out. And I don't mind going down and doing mining for, for diamonds if I have to, but I, I, one of the things that I was hoping for was that this Lens of the Miner would give me uh, would give me diamonds, and it doesn't seem to be. Uh, I'm going to need some sticks. One, two, three, four, five, six of those. We're going to need some quartz. Uh, one, two, two of those, right? So let's make ourselves a drawer controller. Drawer controller. There it is. Need to make a couple of these. We don't have any redstone torches, which we can do that. Now we have redstone torches. And we can do that. I can only make two of them. That's all I need is two. Cool. And we should be able to make this now. Yes, we can. Uh, this thing will do a this will thing this thing will monitor drawers in every direction up to 12 blocks away. So if I put you, say, right down here, this pick is going to break soon. This pick is going to break very soon if I don't do something. If I put you down there, right? So I can use that drawer controller to put items into my storage drawers, obviously. Um, and so that'll help out a lot. As, as I get things laid out in here, uh, that, will, that will allow me to move things a lot more rapidly. Plus, when we set up our auto storage area, when we set up any kind of refined storage or AE2 or whatever we're gonna use, we can interface with this and be able to pull items out of the, uh, out of the storage network. So let me go ahead and build these last three uh, compacting drawers that we need. Let me start moving some stuff over here and kind of get it placed the way I want it. And when I come back, we'll see what we can end up with. Wow. That, that's fast. So I've done a little bit of work. Uh, here we have it. Um, I still got a long way to go as far as sorting out items, but I, we seem to be in a pretty good 
uh, seems to be getting a lot done, right? So this stuff over here, this is going to be my normal everyday Minecraft use uh, kind of stuff. So you got all your uh, all your ingots and blocks and stuff like that here in the middle. You've got uh, gravel and con uh, cobble and sand and all that and stuff over here. Over here is going to be some of the modded items and other things. Um, this section over here, I think, is going to be for Thomcraft stuff. Um, I haven't entirely devoted myself to that yet, but I think that's what I want to do over here is Thomcrafty type stuff. Um, but uh, as you can see, things are getting kind of cleared out over here, which is awesome. Uh, I don't know why I have Haste 3. I haven't figured that out yet. Um, I'm guessing that somebody planted something near my base and it's given me Haste 3. And I mean, that's cool and all, but I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't know where it's coming from, but uh, I'll take it because Haste 3 is awesome. Uh, if I had myself an efficiency kind of a tool, then uh, we'd be in good shape. Um, but uh, but I think that's as far as I want to go today for uh, for the, the storage system. Um, like I said, down here, I've got the, the drawer controller kind of hidden away. We'll tie into that eventually so that we can get our processes over here automated and start getting all of this stuff kind of fed into there uh, on, on its own. But there is one more thing I want to do today, and that is I want to make this focus pouch, right? So the focus pouch, fo uh, focus pouch, this thing right here, uh, because I want to be able to take this focus out of my... Uh, out of my inventory whenever I'm not using it or I want to be able to disable it whenever I'm not using it and I should be able to do that by putting it into a focus pouch um, or setting it up so that there's no focus on the on the gauntlet right so you need some alchemical brass and alchemical brass is pretty easy to make it's uh, and, and now that I've done some some Thomcraft research we should be able to get it done pretty easily uh, so that is this stuff here, all chemical brass. You put it in a crucible. It's a piece of iron and some instrumentium. Uh, instrumentium is pretty in G is pretty easy to get. You just make some wooden tools, right? I only need one instrumentium. Is that right, or is it two? It's five. So if I did, let's let's take a look at this. Let's get. Uh, I put a couple of crafting benches down here. So let's take a look at this. Uh, if I did a couple of sticks. Uh, that would give me two. Okay, so that should give me two, four, six tools. All right, that's cool. And if I just do this and just make it shovels, I just do shovels, that gives me four instrumentium. So I only need to do two of those, actually, um, and, and hopefully not get too much. Actually, how much, how much alchemical brass do I need? Um, so we want, I think we need one for the belt. And did I need anything for the pouch itself? So pouch, focus pouch. I don't, I only need one piece of alchemical brass for that. So, okay, well, that's fine. Let's just do two shovels. I don't know why that does that, but every once in a while I'll have to do that and see, it just disappears and it won't do anymore. And that's fine. Uh, so we get those. We need to get our crucible, which is over here. And I think I'm going to put it outside because I don't want to have any more problems with uh, with my world because problems and I are are not a good thing. Uh, I don't like them at all. I knew I do need some water. I need some a water bucket. Water bucket there someplace. Bucket, bucket, bucket. Yes, I have a bucket. Cool. We'll get some water right here. Cool. Uh, we'll get our igniter up here. There we go. Take you outside and see what we can do with you. I need my axe. And I think I'm going to go over this way a little ways because um, why not? I also was told that I need to come over and take a look at the... Oh, wow. Some folks did some cool stuff. They put up some totems from, uh, from what is that? Totem, totemic, yeah, that's cool. Uh, we got ourselves some doors. <gasps> I like it. Sliding doors, it's all closed in. Oh, this is nice. Uh, Silver did this, apparently. Did a good job. What's this? Oh, it's white, it's beds. You got beds in here. We got, the, of course, the waystones. I still haven't been too many places, but this is looking better. This is looking nice. I like it. I like these, these totem torches. Those are cool. Those are pretty awesome. Let's go over here, though. Uh, oh, I forgot iron. Dang it. I gotta have iron so that I can get that piece of alchemical brass that I need. 
But let's go back to our base and get some iron. And then we'll make this alchemical brass, and then we should be able to uh, to kind of wrap up the episode, right? Right. Just need one piece of iron, which is right over here. Badoosh. Thank you. Alchemical brass is pretty easy to make. It's not, it's not at all complicated. I want to do this in a different chunk. And the reason why I want to do this in a different chunk is because, um, well, reasons. <laughs> but we'll do it right do it right here. This will probably be fine. Yeah, let's do it right here. So we'll put you there, right? We'll put a crucible on top of you. Hello, crucible on top. Put the water in. Let it come to a boil. We need to put you, you next to each other, and we need you. There it goes, it's boiling. So put you in, and put you in, and put you in. And that gives us alchemical brass. How about that? Let's go over back to our base, and we'll put this thing together, and we'll have ourselves a focus pouch. Focus pouches are awesome. And then we're going to have to get into more focus, or into more foci, because you can do some cool stuff with, uh, you can do some cool stuff with Thomcraft. I'm telling you. Uh, so we need to get some of this leather. Well, let's get all of the leather. Hello there, pig. Uh, we're going to need some more iron. No, just some gold. So let's get a piece of gold. AFK dude made an advancement. Diamonds. GG. We'll go up here and we'll do it in our arcane workbench. You, you. I can't do. I can't shift click that in there. What? One, two, three. Alchemical brass. Yeah. Cool. And then we want to do all of you like so. And we want. You in there like that, and we want to put you in there like that, and that gives us a focus. Focus pouch, cool. Now, where did we put our. Hmm? I killed you. I killed you. Uh, where did we put our gauntlet? I put my gauntlet away, I thought. Gauntlet? My gauntlet? Where did I put my gauntlet? I don't see it. I don't see it here, do I? Not on my inventory. It's not on my person. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Where did I put the gauntlet? It looks funky, so I might be missing it. No, 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 no. Don't tell me I lost this gauntlet now. Thought for sure. Didn't put it in there. Put it over here. Oh, oh no. What did I do with my gauntlet? I don't see it. I don't see it at all. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, I didn't put it over here, did I? Not in one of these uh, drawers, is it? I don't see it over there, I don't see it over there. I don't see it there, oh no. Oh no. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, I can't find it, so worst case scenario, we'll just make another one. Um, so yeah, I made another thermometer, and I just need to have a piece of... Uh, Nether quartz and a iron plate that gives us one of these, a viz resonator, and then we can should be able to make this right. Yeah. So there's our gauntlet again. Don't know what happened to that thing though. I mean, you guys saw it out. You guys, you guys saw it. I had it. Oh no! Wait a minute. Dang it. Ah, dang it. There it is. But that's okay because now we have an extra just in case. Uh, but anyway, so we got this right. So we can put this on here. And if we check our controls, how do we control um, Thomcraft? So where is our Thomcraft controls?
journey map, journey map, journey map, open blocks, thom craft, thom craft. Uh, change caster focus is F, and that is already bound to something else. What if we make it, um, can I make it this? Yes. Uh, and that kind of, kind of makes sense. Uh, miscellaneous caster toggle is going to be G. Can I do that? No. Uh, can I do, can I do, do something different? Um, hmm. That? No. Can I do this? No. Uh, <laughs> well, that's fine. We should be able to do this, though. Is that not working? Not doing, it's not changing. Oh, wait a minute. So, yeah, I think I gotta do this. Oh, hey, don't do that. Take you out of there. Yeah, so now, how do I disable? Uh oh, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Okay, now wait a minute. Where, where did this thing go? It's not in my inventory anymore? Where did it go? No, seriously, where did my... You guys are seeing this, right? I lost it. I lost my stinking gauntlet again. Because I opened this, and it disappeared. I don't understand. I might have to go back and look at the footage again because I don't know where that went. And where did I get sulfur from? Oh, from that pig. From the pigman. Uh-huh. This is not cool. This is not cool at all. It didn't go back in here, did it? I don't see how it could have. That's the one I just made. It does not have any casting focuses in it. Um, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Okay, back in a minute. Okay, thanks to the folks in the old. Uh, oh, where was I? I was in the Minecraft general chat for the simpletons, and uh, somebody in there helped me out. Um, I had to I had to go in and check out my keybinds because I had to make sure that those were okay. But if you just click your keybind, it doesn't work. You actually have to hold it down for a second. And uh, so I was able to get the uh, get the get the focus out of the gauntlet. I can select it. So now it's now it's all set up, right? And if I hit the keybind again, or actually maybe it was the shift. Yeah. So it was the shift. So you hit the keybind and then you hit shift and then it'll go away. So hit the keybind. Okay, maybe not. Uh, okay. Keybind? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, maybe it's not working. I had it work in here for a second, but the key should be... Uh-oh. Uh oh, no. Am I going to crash? Well, maybe not. There it is. So now if I do this again, there it comes. So maybe there is some st maybe there's some glitchy stuff going on with it, but it does it does work, right? So I've got this uh, I've got it all set up, and I can whoosh set fires. Oh hi, uh, and then okay, it's gone. Uh, and then I should be able to hit the focus and turn it back off. And apparently I have to go into another inventory and then we can go back. So it's still a little glitchy, but it is working. And I am super duper happy that I now have my focus pouch and I've got my caster's gauntlet and all the good stuff. And we're going to get into more and more Minecraft, more and more Thomcraft, I should say. Uh, plus, we're going to get all this storage stuff done and get this base looking sweet and pretty and nice and awesome. And uh, also have a great time on this server. But sadly, folks, we are out of time. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe. The likes and subscriptions help out oh so immensely when it comes to those pesky YouTube search results. 
The other thing that helps out a lot is comments. So make sure you leave your comments right down here in the comment section below and we'll chat about it. Leave your tips, your tricks, your pointers, your attaboys, your what in the world were you thinking, all that good stuff, and we will chat about it in kind. Also, don't forget to stop by our Discord server where you can talk about all things Minecraft and, uh, and other things as well. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. And I also want to take this opportunity to thank my YouTube supporters, my YouTube sponsors, and my Patreon support staff. Uh, since we are playing on a Patreon server, if you guys want to be on this server or if you want to have your name listed here, then uh, click the link below and find out all about the uh, Patreon rewards that I have to offer. But once again, folks, thanks for watching. And until next time, we will catch you on the flip side. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.